Hey guys, Granny Tanny here in the book nook. I have two books um, for you guys to have a look at today. Reason I'm showing these two together is I was asked specifically about which should I think A or B for someone, for a teenage or boy coming into teenagehood, and I didn't have a ready answer. So I wanted to compare the two side by side so you can have a look and see which one's better for your little, or not so little. I mean, these are typically boys coming into puberty. So first of all, we have the what's happening to me. This is the boy version. There is a girl version where I give a full, uh, in discovery, where I give a full recap page by page of what's inside the book uh, in the girl's version. So again, this one's the boy. So just to give, it's colored, it's picture based. Um, whoops, it's slippery. I'm just kidding. Um, here's your contents if you wanted to pause on that and have a quick uh, or lengthy look at that. Otherwise, I'll quickly go through it. A uh, little disclaimer, this is a book about growing up, so there are some pictures that are uh, maybe disturbing to some who uh, may prefer less imagery. So that is in here, I've noted from the girls. So, uh, but it's talking about it's getting hairy, getting bigger, getting muscly. So we're looking at more child-friendly font here, as well as the pictures. Uh, and we have our little comics. So again, this is imagery I'm talking about. Nothing pornographic or anything, but um, just imagery that you may need warning about. Um, cuts and moles, shaving, testicle power, brain power. What's it all about? without babies so again if religion comes into play here then um, and personal family beliefs this could be a teaching talking point if it's not your own beliefs and then we have what's inside down there up here make it go away and they all look different So again, it also looks like good ha healthy habits, like good food and your food groups. More about eating. Exercise. Filthy beasts. So again, healthy hygiene. Some pimples here. It briefly goes into having a look about the girls, just as the girls does the boys, and what the girls are going through. And again, our index, sorry, my lighting's not gonna be optimal for the index likely, but, um, so this is the, the one version. Now the next, um, that's gonna be like a bedside table perhaps for the little guy or reading with you. This one here is a little bit thicker, of course. Um, it is not color. So again, here are our table of contents. And you can pause if I flip them too quickly. Now what I'm not seeing on this is the girl's um, side of things. Oh, I'm lying to you, it's different for girls. So quick quiz, what's happening to me? So we still have some of these cartoon-like imagery, but it's not color. This has a lot more words involved. I'm grabbing sections as I turn pages. So more words, less imagery. And we're in black and white. I believe most of the same uh, images are going to be similar in both books as well. I believe that the information you see will likely be quite similar. It's just the delivery. Um, there may be a little bit more information here as there are more pages and more words, obviously, that we do have same information you're going to see for girls. Um, there is also a growing up for girls in this format. So it just depends on maybe the age or your the level of your reader or the comfort level 
Um, perhaps one can be read together, one can be left bedside if you wanted to have both. But I do think the information is likely to be repeated. Price-wise, if that's an issue, um, they give them to you the same price, $12.95 Canadian for both. So there you have it. That's the difference between what's happening to me and growing up for boys.